So I just got back to my car from attending the Traveler's Company Caravan event in Port Townsend, Washington. If you've never been to one of these events, but you're interested in going, uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend getting there early <laughs> or as uh, close to the start time as possible. I got here about halfway through the event. It was from 10 to 3, so technically it is still going on for another half hour. Um, but I came here because I wanted the stickers and I wanted the stamps and I wanted the brass clip, the special brass clip, uh, the road shirt brass clip. Um, by the time I got up to the storefront, they were sold out of the clip, um, but they are, which was a bummer, but they are going to release it in December on their website. Uh, Travelers Company USA. So hopefully I can get it then. I did get the stickers and I did get the stamp. <laughs> the stamp was funny. By the time there was so much going on around me, by the time I realized what had happened, I actually stamped the <laughs> the road trip stamp. I actually stamped it upside down <laughs> in my monthly, but uh, and I was kind of upset about it at first, but then I thought that's that's just what happens, right? <laughs> it's it's just it's an accurate re reflection of my experience and um, I kind of love that it's upside down <laughs> now. So I ended up getting a few other things besides the stickers. I've been in my Ace Hotel Camel standard size. I've been in that for quite a while but I decided that my brown, my OG Midori stamped brown uh, needed to be the one that uh, came with me to this event. This is the first time I've ever had more than one charm or accoutrement on the front of my of my notebook I usually just have one thing and it's typically been a button but this year I've gone all out with the the extras and I went very ham with the polar bears at the end of last year so I got the leather tags and um one of which is now a tree ornament that will go up in a short period of time and then I got the brass so I really the polar bears have made me happy all year moving on they had this great little brochure that they were giving away for nothing. So naturally I grabbed one. So, so that's really cool and it has a, a list of all this stuff. So they had a special cover. Um, I did not want the cover or need the cover. I have four covers. I do not need another one. Had it been a blue, I might have gone for it because blue is the only color they offer that I want that I don't currently have. So had it been blue, I might have, but they were sold out of that anyway, so it really wouldn't have mattered. If they ever release a blue one, I might get them. So I didn't need the cover. I wanted the clip for my pocket size uh, traveler's notebook because I have the other two and I use them both in my standard size. I have them here. So I use, I do use them both. And I wanted a third one because I find myself um, just kind of reaching for it like I would in my standard size, but I don't have one there. Besides the brochure, I got me two zero three twos. Um, this is an insert I've been utilizing a bit as of late. Uh, it's the accordion fold. Looks it's like you just fold it out. So I got two of those. These were impulse purchase, absolutely without a doubt. So the bookmarks, the stencil bookmarks. I have the brass ruler, which I love. I have never had these, and so I got both of those. And then <laughs> I did get the stickers, and I'm really excited. Yes, yes, yes. So no clip, but not a big deal, especially if I can get one 
online and they're going to send emails like right as they're right as they come out so that's that's great oh and at the very last minute i caved and got a tote bag which i actually am really glad i got now i was not intending to get a bag and i need another tote bag like i need another pen which is absolutely zero but just so pretty so yeah that was that uh the line situation actually was about what i expected i got there about 12 30 and from start to finish uh getting in line and getting through and paying for my my goods um it was just over two hours so actually i don't think that was too bad for an event like this and i'm gonna go to aldrich's i think um uptown and see if they have any uh, gnomes available for consumption that look good. The last time I filmed here, I think I filmed at Aldrich's too. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> pretty sure I did. Oh, and I also bought this shirt. <laughs> I bought this shirt in that video I did where I filmed here. I don't even remember what video that was. If I remember what video that was, I will put it, a thumbnail shot of it here. Don't know. I don't I'm gonna go to Aldrich's now. And here I am at Aldrich's Grocery, which boasts the status of being the oldest grocery store in Washington State, and they happen to have my most favorite thing of theirs, which is their curried chicken salad with um, almonds and onions and raisins. And I picked up this amazing bar of Swiss chocolate, which is really, really yummy. And now here I am at home laying out all the things on the table. There was one thing I forgot to feature in the car. I picked up a pack of the 10 Minute Aroma um, Incense, the collab with uh, Hebe, Hibby. I can't, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Um, the one that smelled the most yummy to me was the Hinoki, and it's really, really, really great. And I'm just going to complete the table with putting down my beloved brown. Overall, this was a really fun experience and I am glad that I had it. That's all I have for this video. Until my next one, take care, be well.